people skills is everything. Guys, I'm telling you, people skills is everything. Some people are, well, they don't like me for who I am. Forget them. If he had that mindset, if he had that belief level, I wouldn't be here with him. I'm like, dude, the guy's a freaking jerk. It's the way you treat people, but it's hard to treat people good when you don't treat yourself good. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a very special inaugural episode of the Private Jet Podcast. I'm your host, Vito Blazers, and this is brought to you by our friends over at BoxBid.io. Guys, I have the honor and the privilege of sharing this plane right now in this episode with you, with me, financial services leader and legend, Mario Irizan. Mario, how's it feel to be on the podcast, but the plane? First of all, I'm honored. And one of the biggest things I realized about you is that your energy introduces you before you can introduce yourself. I'm like, man, this guy's somebody. Honestly, right away, I was like, ah, oh. and I teach about energy all the time, how important it is. And I felt that, dude, you're not like arrogant. I don't even know who you were, but I'm like, dude, this guy's somebody. And then the way you treated me, I'm like, ooh, I like that. Because there's some people that taste a little bit of success and they think they're all that. That's not you, dude. You treated me with so much like love. And right away, I'm like, dude, we're gonna be friends. And look at this. We're literally on a PJ together. He's like, hey, you want to roll with me? I'm like, yeah, let's freaking go. Let's roll. roll. That's awesome. Literally, we had one lunch together. We bumped into each other in Vegas. Next thing you know, we're on the jet. We're on our way to making millions. But more important than making millions, we're on our way to making an impact. And you've yes. been making a ton of impact. And that's what I wanted to talk to you about today. So tell me a little bit, before we jump into how people can work with you and how you help people, tell us a little bit about your story. Who are you? Where you're from? How'd you get to where you are today? Uh, thank you. Uh, actually, I grew up really, really like humbly, like my mom had me when she was 15 years of age. And man, did we struggle. My dad was a teenager also. And I remember as a little kid, um, being mad at God. And I thought God was mad at me um, because we struggle. I mean, we went from living in a two-story home to living in a van with my mom. And I remember crying as a little kid, dude, like saying like, God, why do you hate me so much? You took away my dad from me. We're so poor and I'm short. I'm like, come on, man, give me something. But you know what? I needed that. I'm so grateful for that because it gave me that drive. It gave me that hunger. Like, I'm not going to quit. I'm going to be the one that takes my family on out of the hood. My mom, my dad, one day are going to be proud that I'm their son. Yes, we're all about breaking generational curses. So it's, a, it's amazing that you've had that story. And I feel like so many successful people have had to experience negativity in their life before they can go on to experience some huge success. So now you're super successful. You've got this bling down ring. Tell us about what you do and how you impact people's lives. So I'm in the financial service industry. I dabble in a lot of different businesses that I own, but my passion is people. It's not even financial services. I love to lead people. I love to change their paradigm, their mindset. So I am, they call me coach okay. because I'm a coach, not only in finances, but I'm a coach in their life. And I love that. Like I can be tired, but man, I started talking about some gems that I know that changed my life. And I wake up, you know, like right away because I know there's someone listening to this and that's going to apply the tools that I teach them that I guarantee you are going to change their life. Amazing. Because it did for me. All right. So let's just jump right into that. What is the number one tip? Why don't we talk about the top three tips that you could share with anybody watching this right now that they could implement immediately to t change their lives? What's number one? Number one, work on your mindset. See, my entire life, and look, let me prove this to you. Um, I just thought I was not the smartest. Why? Because I struggled in school. So I got so behind in school that they put me, believe it or not, in special ed classes. Damn. And I felt like the lowest of the lowest, dude. I'm like, dude. I was just, and be careful what you say out there, who you're listening to. So my parents, they didn't know any better. Um, my my teachers, even though like, oh, this kid, uh, he has learning disability. So I bought that. I bought that. Into the fifth grade, this teacher in Bacoima Elementary, he's like, hey, why are you in my class? And I'm like, um, I have a learning disability. He's like, I told you that. I'm like, well, you can talk to my mom. Um, you can talk to... Look at this, man. This is, uh, you can you can talk to uh, some doctors, you know. And he's like, no, no, you don't have a learning disability. You have an effort disability. You don't even try. It, that hit me because he's so right. I didn't try because I already thought that I'm just not smart. Because I thought like either you're dumb or you're smart. And I wasn't smart. So I didn't even try. Like, why, why even try? But that guy, 
said, no, if you put in the work, you can learn how to read good. You can learn how to spell good. Yeah. And that was the biggest thing. I went from having a fixed mindset to a growth mindset. And because I hang around people like Vito, I have an unstoppable mindset. So look, don't buy that BS story. Now I can take any exam. I have state, federal licenses. It's my mindset like, dude, I just have to work a little bit harder, but I will get it done. Don't buy that BS story that someone told you or that you bought about yourself. Like my kids, I have, I'm blessed to have two amazing little boys. God bless. And let me tell you, one of the worst things you can do is talk bad Absolutely. about yourself, not just others. That's the worst thing. Yeah. And we do that. Like if my kid's like, oh, well, I'm shy. I'm like, shy is a bad word. Push-ups. Indeed. They say something negative to each other. I'm, I'm okay a little bit. Yeah. I'm like, hey, don't do that to your brother. Yeah. But they say like, oh, I'm dumb. Or like, I'm still like, hey, that's the worst thing you can do. Push-ups. Yeah. So I'm big on what you tell yourself. So number one is mindset. Absolutely. And I always like to say that your thoughts become your words. Your words become your actions and your actions become your legacy. So it all starts right here in your mind. So besides mindset, okay, so let's say you have the greatest mindset in the world. You obviously know just thinking all day isn't going to put things into action. What's the second thing that people can apply in their lives to help them move forward one step? In you know, um, this is super important um, because you might see a lot of men out there. You might see a lot of women out there. But honestly, um, they do. They work on their feelings like little boys, little girls. Um they're like, oh, I don't feel like doing this. I don't, I don't want to do this. That's a little boy mindset. That's a little girl mindset. Real men, real women do what's required. And sometimes people tell me like, well, I'm doing my best. Sometimes your best is not good enough. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you need to do what's required. You're going to pass through your best. And that's the difference between being good and being great. See, let me, let me tell you, just like English is a language, just like Spanish is a language, so is greatness. When I'm around Vito, I can tell He's successful. Why? Because of his mindset, the way he speaks, the way he carries himself. Same thing with me. So that's that little edge, that little bit, like you do what's required. Absolutely. Everyone wants to be a boss. Yep. And so it's time to do what yeah. bosses do. Exactly, bro. You know what's up. So that that's, that's the bottom line is that everybody wants to be famous, but nobody wants to do the work, right? That's the Hollywood way to say it. So, okay, so you got to have the right mindset. You got to show up and do what's required. What's the number three thing that people can apply in their lives today to take themselves to the next level? People skills is everything. Guys, I'm telling you, people skills is everything. Some people are, well, they don't like me for who I am. Forget them. If he had that mindset, if he had that belief level, I wouldn't be here with them. I'm like, dude, the guy's a freaking jerk. It's the way you treat people, but it's hard to treat people good when you don't treat yourself good. I promise you, you gotta like yourself first. You gotta build some confidence. See, confidence is everything. I walk in a room, I'm confident. People's eyes are on me. Like, dude, that guy dresses sharp. Man, what, what, what does this guy do? Is he successful? Same thing with you. you. I seen you, like you're freaking confident. Uh, the first day I met you yep. and you were super cool. I'm like, dude, I like that guy. It's right like, out, super bro. important. So guys, how do you build your confidence? Stop freaking lying to yourself. Have little wins every single day. If it's if you say you're gonna make 10 calls for the day, do your 10 calls. If you say you're gonna work out, freaking work out. Even when you don't feel like it, it builds up your, your self-confidence. Amen. And people can feel that. I love that. So guys, those are three amazing tips that you can take away. Obviously, an amazingly successful guy. Mario, how can people learn more about you and how can they work with you to take themselves to the next level? You know, I'm big on Instagram. You can, you'll put it on here that you can see uh, on Mario Arizon on Instagram or the MarioArizon.com. Yeah. I have a lot of stuff, a lot of free content. I have a book that I'm working on right nice. now that I would love to give a lot of free stuff out there. Just things that change my life. And it's not maybe, it's not hopefully, if you apply it, you will change your life. Absolutely. I've created a lot of people that have a net worth, millions of dollars, and a lot of my friends that make millions of dollars a year and they apply these principles and it works. And I, I didn't create this. I learned it. I hang around with amazing people like Vito, have a lot of very successful friends. And I want to thank you, bro, for honestly, for having me here and just the friendship we had. Likewise, brother. Well, thanks for being the first guest ever on Vito Glazer's Private Jet Podcast. We're here with Mario Arizon. You can check him out at marioarizon.com. The link is going to be down here in the bio. And this was brought to you today by boxbid.io. Make sure to check them out. You can never get enough boxing. And Mario, it was just such an honor and a pleasure to hear your story. Thanks for the amazing tips. Guys, make sure you tune in next time.
Hello, everybody, and thank you so much for tuning in to our latest episode of Vito Glazer's After Dark. And if you enjoyed tonight's episode and you'd like to know how you can support us, I invite you to check out one of our affiliate partners, Try Carrot. Carrot is an influencer black card. It's the first charge card and credit card that's built around underwriting your social media audience in order to approve you for your credit limit. It's really cool and really innovative financially. And on top of that, the black card gives you access to some amazing Amazing events like they did a casino night in downtown LA. They do all kinds of influencer support groups and influencer opportunities. So if that's something that you're interested in, if you're an influencer or you're an entrepreneur that is active on social media and you would like to check out a really cool credit card or charge card, uh, I got approved for up to $15,000. You can apply for free at influencerblackcard.com. So again, if you enjoyed the episode tonight and you'd like to learn how you can support us without having to spend any money at all, you can apply for free. I invite you to check out influencerblackcard.com. And if you have any questions about it, feel free to DM me on Instagram at Vito Glazers and I can tell you all about it.